I'm on Route 1A South. I've just passed a sign that says entering limestone and I'm about nine miles from the start of the long walk which I think is in Hamlin, Maine. And this is where I approximate Curly uh, getting his uh, ticket. Let me read that for you. I did uh, finally put the phone on airplane mode this time so it doesn't get interrupted by phone calls. So, Garrity watched. Garrity's watch said 5 past 11 now. He supposed that meant they had beaten the record, figuring 2 hours time, 4 miles an hour. Curly got his leg cramp about 11 a.m. So assuming 4 mile per hour pace for 2.25 um, hours, they would have traveled 9 miles from the start. Uh, looks like I got a farmer wondering what I'm doing. <laughs> he might ask me some questions as we pass here. Thinks maybe I'm uh, reading a map and I'm lost. Um, suddenly Curly screamed. Garrity looked back over his shoulder. Curly was doubled over, holding his leg and screaming. Ah, hey. It's gonna get loud, we're passing a tractor here. Somehow, incredibly, he was still walking, but very slowly, much too slowly. So, yep, there we go. Getting spectators here. People wonder what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> so, the problem, you know, Curly had um, a cramp. Instead of walking slowly, this two minute timer counting down, he should have just stopped and sat down, did what uh, Garrity did, and massaged his leg. But he was, he was trying to push through it. And so he fell under four miles per hour, his timer was counting down, and he got his ticket. He wasn't smart. Garrity was smart. When he got his leg cramp, he just sat down and started massaging his leg. Trying, trying to work out that cramp, you know? You can't fight it. It's like falling asleep. You can't fight it. You gotta pull over and take a nap. So everything went slowly then, as if to match the way Curly was walking. The soldiers on the back of the uh, moving half track raised their guns. The crowd gasped as if they hadn't known this was the way it was hard to read this with the wind blowing it around. I'm going to switch hands. Apologize. Shaky. Shaky cam. Just look at the beauty here. Isn't that amazing? Going up a, a nice hill here. It's not one of those steep hills that uh, kills all the walkers. So. The crowd gasped as if they hadn't known this was the way it was, and the walkers gasped as if they hadn't known, and Garrity gasped with them, but of course they had known. Of course they had all known. It was simple. Curly was going to get his ticket. Got a guy coming up in an ATV as well. <laughs> oh, he turned off. All right. This is farmer country out here, potato, potato farms. So very interesting. This is this is approximately where Curly got his ticket. Let me finish reading this if I can. The safeties clicked off. Boys scattered from around Curly like quail. He was suddenly alone on the sun-washed. It is hard to read this while it is flapping around. Sunrush Road. This isn't fair, he screamed. It just isn't fair. Garrity was looking. He had to look. It isn't.
four carbines fired. They were very loud. The noise traveled away like bowling balls, struck the hills, and rolled back. I could see that. There's a nice, there's a nice hill over there for echoing. This is pretty hilly out here. You can definitely echo. Curly's angular, pimply head disappeared in a hammer smash. Is that hammer? Hammer smash or hammer smash? I like to say, I like to say hammer smash. Didn't put a, a, a dash in, so we don't know. Of, I mean, we don't know if it's McVries or McVries. There's no pronunciation guide either. <laughs> of blood and brains and flying skull fragments, the rest of him fell forward on the white line like a sack of mail. 99 now, Garrity thought sickly. 99 bottles of beer on the wall, and one of those bottles should happen to fall. Oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus. Now my favorite guy. Stebbin stepped over the body. His foot slid in a, in a little, um, in some, holy crap. Let's get a, get a handle on this paper here. Stebbins stepped over the body, his foot slid a little in some of the blood. In his next step, and in his next step with that foot, left a little bloody track, like a photograph in an office, in an official detective magazine. So, anyway, great, great scene. And when you see these uh, trailers that uh, people make, for the long walk, uh, they usually make it about that scene because it's so, it's the first ticket. It's, and they probably, the squad probably has a tradition. Um, four soldiers shooting all at the same time at the head, blow, blow the guy's head off. That's probably like a, uh, a tradition. Um, later, it's like one, two, maybe three. Um, shoot him in the heart, shoot him in the head, you know, shoot him various places like, um, or like a, an execution squad, perhaps. Anyway, oh, it's so pretty out here. Just check out this field here, if we can get a view of it. These are the uh, potato fields. So nice, so nice. Here we've got a lot of uh, rolling, rolling hills, so it's not, not so bad coming up these hills. Of course, they're walking at four miles. I'm walking at like two miles an hour. Um, when I walk at four miles per hour, my heart rate goes goes up pretty quick. I would not, I would not survive even an hour on the long walk. I don't even know if that's humanly possible to walk at four miles per hour for five days. I mean, they started at 9 a.m. on Monday and ended at like 8 p.m. on Friday. So it. Uh, without sleep let me know what you think all right until next time i'll see you on this long walk we call life